We live in a neighborhood with a homeowners association and our HOA rules have 79 pages. Who can keep track of all those rules? As I leave the neighborhood, there's a sign and it says on it, two rules. No overnight street parking and pick up animal waste. You could say the HOA rules are summed up in these two. In Jesus' time, it was expected that people would live by the rules outlined in the Old Testament. And there were 613 rules. Who could keep track of them all? So one day someone comes to Jesus and asks him, what is the greatest of all the commandments? Jesus responds and tells him, you must love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your being, and with all of your mind. And the second one is like it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Everything in the law hangs on these two commands. Two simple but profound rules to live by. You see, the core of how God expects us to live in relation to God and to others is through love. Love directed fully to God will naturally direct itself out to others. But did you notice that Jesus never qualifies who we're supposed to love and who our neighbor is? I saw this echoed in a yard sign. Everyone is our neighbor. Everyone is worthy of expressing and receiving the love of God. So let me ask you, who's around you right now? Who is your neighbor? How can you love them today? Maybe the hardest person to love is yourself. I want you to know that God sees that and meets you there. So go today loving God and loving others.